Shalom. We give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakakadash. We give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and Shalom to the elect that's pushing out this word throughout the four corners of the globe in sincerity and in truth. For the edification in the house of Dawah Dawah, this is why we do these lessons. Shalom to you. Hope you're in good spirits. It's your brother Shemar Ma from the DC camp. Uh, just want to come out with this lesson. Um, uh, I'm going to title it um, The Faithful Witness. The Faithful Witness. And, and I'm going to read from Proverbs and a couple other scriptures uh, to get an understanding of the faithful witness. Let's get this first scripture. This is Proverbs 14. It's starting at 2. He that walketh in his uprightness fear the Lord. L-O-R-D, which is Yahweh in ancient Hebrew. When you see the word Lord in all caps, it's the name Yahweh or the word for the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, his name. Uh, when you look it up in the Hebrew, it's Yahweh. Let's, let's just look at it. Since we're here, in the blue letter, when you look at it, it says here, that he that walketh upright, fear the Lord. 3068. When you look at it, in the, in the, uh, in the, lot. In the uh, this is the Assyrian, but in the Lashwan Kordash, it would be Yaha and Awa. Okay, some may say Yehovah, Jehovah, but there's no J in the Hebrew, so the word is Yahweh. Okay, this is his name, this is the name that he has given uh, Moses and the children of Israel Yahawa. Yahawa. Okay. He that walketh in his uprightness, whose uprightness? The Lord's uprightness. Right? And fear the Lord, because when you walk in his uprightness, you also fear the Lord. Okay? It goes hand in hand. When you do what's right, you also fear him. This is this is this is a, a a requirement of those who walk in the Lord's uprightness. You must fear. Fear comes with it. It says, "But he that is perverse in his ways despise him, which is despise the Lord." If you don't fear him and you're perverse in your ways, right? Let's look up this word perverse. When you're perverse in your ways, right? Perverse. Lawaz. Lawaz. To depart from or turn aside. When you're perverse, when you put you you turning aside and you going away. It says here, go crooked. Depart. When you depart from the ways of the Lord, right? You despise him. And this is what you're doing. When you despise the Lord and you don't walk uprightness, you're going against him and you're not fearing him, him being the Lord. This is what it is. This is this is why people let's let's read on because don't want to just use my word. Let's lose the scriptures. The scripture says it all. Verse three says in the mouth of the foolish is a rod of pride, a measurement is the rod and his pride is measured by the perverseness or the lack of uprightness in his words which means he's departing going aside crookedly from what the Lord had said so everything that the Lord say and you go the opposite way right that's the measurement of your pride Reading on, it says, but the lips of the wise shall preserve them. Why? Because they're now measured, right, 
by what the Lord say. Thus saith the Lord. So if you speak in thus saith the Lord, your rod or your measure is not with pride. It's with thus saith the Lord. So it's not out the way. It's not crooked. It's just what it is. Thus saith the Lord. Now these people, when you look at them throughout the scriptures, the upright men, the one who kept the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, who taught the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, right? In righteousness and in truth, without lies or deceit, right? These are your faithful witness. So even today, you got men teaching, preaching, right? Being fathers over flocks. If they are fearful of the Lord and walking in uprightness, which is according to the Lord's statutes and commandments and faith in Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai being a son who the world called Jesus who died on the cross. When you follow these directives, you can be considered a faithful witness. And this is what we all as Israelite men, women and children need to be. This is the this is the mode. This is the parameter. In what we need to be. These the, these are the ways. This is how you become a faithful witness. Okay? Verse 5. A faithful witness will not lie. But a false witness will utter lies. You see, these are the faithful witness. So you're lying, you're not upright. You're lying, you don't fear the Lord. You're lying, you're not teaching the truth. You're crooked in your ways. So what you need to do is be on the side of righteousness, the side of truth. Okay, let's get this scripture. This is uh, Psalms 84. Psalms 84, verse 9. Behold our, behold our power, our shield, and look upon the face of thy anointed. Behold, O God, our shield, and look upon the face of thy anointed. The anointed are the ones who have been cleansed, the ones who walking and fearing the Lord, walking with the Lord, fearing with the Lord, teaching truth. Look, the psalmist says, look upon these. For the day and night court is better than a thousand. Where else you rather be? There is no better place to be but in the court of the Lord. It says here, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my power than, than to dwell in tents of wickedness. Right? For the Lord, for the Lord our power is the sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withheld from them that walk uprightly. I'm going to read that again. For the Lord God, right, for the Lord our power is a sun and shield. The Lord, Yahweh, will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withheld from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusteth in thee. To continue in these ways, to continue being a sun and a shield, to kin to that 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 continues to be your buckler, to be your fight, to be your salve savior. This is this is what an upright man who's dwelling in the tents of the Lord are. These are the faithful witnesses because they're the ones to be followed. 
They have the true testimony. They have the they have the um, um, they have the witness, right, of the greatness of Yah of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and what they have done for them, and the word that they spoke concerning correction, reproof, right, and all in, in all righteousness. So we can learn in these times. So we can do in these times. But they must first fear the Lord and walk uprightly. That's a requirement. Hebrews 11. Hebrews chapter 11. And I'm going to start at 4. It says, By faith Abel offered unto Yahweh a more excellent sacrifice than Cain by which he obtained witness that he was upright for the things that he did for the things that he merely did Abel offered up a more excellent sacrifice what he did he did exactly what he's supposed to have done you see walking uprightly it says by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, testified of his gifts. Yes, Abel did give up the sacrifice, right? As he's supposed to. Yahweh told this, right? Yahweh told of this story. Moses told of this story what Yahweh had said, what he had witnessed Abel doing in his time. And by it he uh, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. How? He spoke, he spoke as a witness because he spoke by his walk, his upright walk. You see? By faith. Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because Yahweh had translated him for before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased Yahweh. This is how Yahweh testifies for you by the walk that you do that you carry out the witness that you perform the testimony that you have and you gave of the greatness of Yahweh Bashem Shai. That the faith that you had kept you in good standing. You see that? This, these are the stories, these are the men, these are the testimonies and the faithful witnesses we can hang our faith on knowing what he had obtained or by what they have obtained verse 7 oh no verse 6 but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is you must believe first requirement you must believe. Then you fear. Then you keep his uprightness. And you then you carry on your walk. Because a walk is a journey. You go from one place to another place. Hopefully in righteousness. Because this is what it's all about. This is how the Lord is going to keep you. Have the sun shine on you. And be your protection. From point A to point B. It says here. And he, that he. Is a rewarder of them. That diligently seek him. This is the. This is what you. This is the steps. On your walk from point A to point B. Your walk must be. Always diligently seeking him. And his approval. To get. To point B. From point A. By faith Noah being warned. Right. He was told. 
of Yahweh of the things not yet seen, moved with fear. See? These are the, look, the, the witnesses already show you and tell you what you need to do. It says, prepared an ark, another walk, going from point A to P, point B, because at one point, he didn't know or didn't know what to build the ark with, let alone what it was for, let alone how he was going to do it. Point A to point B. Right? To the saving of his house, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. This is the reward. This is the saving grace. These are the things you obtain by walking uprightly. Now you become a faithful witness. Now you become a faithful witness. And the testimony that you have given and have shown to the world identifies who you are witness gonna look up this word witness where is it Witness. Salak, Salak. All right. G3140 in the Greek. Let's hear this word. Strong's G3140. Martureo. Martureo. When I see this word, I always think of martyr. I always think of martyr. It says to be a witness, to bear witness, to affirm that what one has seen or heard or experienced something or that he knows it because taught by divine revelation or inspiration. You know how you say or we say uh, the scriptures say um, these scriptures is given by the inspiration of the most high Yahweh. Well, you become a true witness if the Lord chooses you to do this. Otherwise, you're not a witness and you're not a fear of God. It says to give, not to keep back testimony. You give your testimony, what you have seen, heard, or witnessed. To utter honorably testimony, give a good report. And this is the point. This is the point I wanted to make of the true witnesses or the righteous witnesses that you give a good report and a good and a report should be given about you on a good note right let me say that again maybe in a different way the report about you should be good you did your work you walked uprightly you kept the commandments no one's going to see this no one is going to really see all these things that you uh, report, but the report is given to Yahweh by the angels. They see your works. They see your walk. They see how you get from point A to point B. If you follow, had faith, feared, and did the things that you're supposed to have done to obtain a good report. The angels report back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh exactly what you have been doing in this walk, in your faith, in your delivery, in your speech, in what you witness. All these things are reported back. This is how you get a good report. To affirm what you have seen and heard or experienced. Affirm. When you look that up, 
right? A firm. Look that up on the Edomon. It says to decide upon, confirm, strengthen, to make steady, collaborate. Because your words, your speech, your walk must collaborate with other faithful, righteous witnesses. They all must line up and do the same thing for the same goal, which is giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash. First and foremost, your testimony, your testimony, and I emphasize prepare, right? When Noah prepared, the art is part of the walk. And I'm going to leave it with this on this note. Because prepared, when you look up this word prepare, how Noah heard and did exactly not knowing how it was going to get done, why it was, do, why was it going to be done, how it was going to... All these things was, was unanswered questions, right? However, he did it anyway and you will see that Abel did it anyway Enoch did it anyway Noah did it anyway Abraham did it anyway these are the, the this, you do it anyway get this real quick Salat says Noah prepared the preparation right to furnish, equip, prepare, make ready, right? Of one who makes anything ready for a person or thing. Now look at this. Of builders to construct, erect, with the included idea of adorning and, and equipping with all things necessary. All things are necessary, right? To become that faithful witness. This is the true collaboration of the faithful witness. We give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakadash. Shalom Akim.